Hi everybody, this is take three, four, I'm just looking at the door. Um, I thought I'd got quite a lot to show you, so we'll see how much I get through. But first of all, I've got some things on Timu. If you'd like me to show you sometime what I get from Timu, straight out the bag, I will. Just let me know below. Um, I'll start off with what I started off first. Um, let's show you this lovely autumn-inspired theme cushion cover. Bit out of the ordinary. Not diamond painting, but we could do with these at first back when we're diamond painting. This one, I think they're about between £2 and £3. There's different ones. And this one, I can't stop stroking because it feels very plump. That's the cushion I put in it. But it's it's a nice quality one, you know. The zip's at the top and it took some pushing in. But yeah, it feels almost um, Chanel-like. Really quite lush. It feels, you know, the back of a Diamond Art Club painting feels like the back of that it's really nice so i've got two of those uh, i did do demonstrations with um the trellis outside i did show you in one of my videos how to make the trellises got loads of compliments and these are what i've been using so the trellises i need two of these i thought i'd only need one but because they're six foot long um about 40 wide and six foot long they're called fence toppers as well so if you just wind these in and out of them few lights um solar lights will still work in the winter you know you'd be surprised um stick it in the top of the trellis have these a little bit of tool running in and out of it bob's your uncle you've got a really nice display outside your house almost like the french shutters they have in paris um i've always liked that look and I'll be changing them out for Christmas time to do a Christmas theme one. I did buy this little, um, but it's almost like a cloche when it's done. And I got the Magic Shop, if I can show you there. Loads of detail inside. Excuse my unshaking. It's got circuit boards with it. It's got glue with it. They even gave you the scissors with it. Let me show you tweezers which are not bad they're quite strong actually i like a little circuit board and details of like um draw handles things like that so it comes like this all together and like a cloche and inside the glue part there can you see it's giving you another lid that's got like a, a long elongated spout on it that's it great for doing delicate little things so I thought I'd have a go one of them. It's a challenge for my eyes, I know, but there you go. Not one to give up. Do excuse me chewing gum. It's because of my dry mouth. We won't go there. There we are. Um, I've got these as well, pumpkins. Now, these would be great. I'm going to do um, a wreath for my door to match my trellises. So that'll be another video. And I'll say I'm going to send a packet up to these to my grandchildren because they'll like to do Halloween things and autonomous. They feel they're um, polystyrene. I know that underneath. I think they've been coated in like a plasticky paint. Yeah, they're quite... I bet you could even... I'm just thinking now. I bet you could put a wire in the bottom of these to have them up to an arrangement as well. Yeah, to stick a wire. So they're like that. About one and a half inch circumference, I would say. Um, I can do, let's have a look. I've got a tape measure here. I'll measure it for you. Uh, let's work in inches today, Marlena. See what we're doing. Yeah, one and a half inches dead on. Hey, got that right for today. That's good. Right, so Diamond Art Club have brought out some new mystery kits. I did get the fantasy one. And I got the dark fantasy one in the ocean. Couldn't resist. Um, so I had the big box delivered. So we'll get what we can done today. But I'll show you what I can. You'll have to excuse me leaning over for things. Because I'm trying to say. You can, oh, I'm not mentioning what's behind me, am I? This is Shim Shimmel. Thank you, Lenka. She inspired me for this. It's gorgeous. And it's absolutely beautiful to do as well. 
There are so many colours in it. There really are. And yet it looks as though it's just mainly blue, but it isn't. And this one here from, can you see that one? Yeah, she's, um, what's it called? Down and Dark Dreams, I think. Yeah, I changed the lips and I used ABs in the lips. And I had to do a bit of work here just to make sure it said cafe, coffee, like coffee. Yeah. And then I got the two, a, sm a box with two smaller fantasy ones in. And then I got the lucky box. Is it a lucky box? Mystery box, that's it, not lucky box. I'm thinking lucky bags like we did when we was kids and it's in this lucky box. Lucky box, mystery box. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> That's how I tell them, you know. I know my friend Melanie will be laughing her head off at me. Like this. Hi, Melanie. By the way, that's my uh, bestie from school. She's, uh, I've just started a, a channel herself. So if you pop on over to see her. My... What is it? My Little Flower Bound, that's it. So we've got one here that seems to be one I haven't ordered. Fantastic. This is DC DIY Diamond Art. And it's a 20 by 13 inch, which is 51 by 33 centimetres. It's just this league. Just There we go. Let's get it out real quick. Oh, do you know, look what we've got and I'll never show you. Look what we've got. I'm going to have to keep them. Because I can't resist them, you know, when I get the Diamond Art Club kits. They're just wonderful. I can't resist. It's like a surprise, isn't it, what we're going to get. So we've got our little sticker here. Now, I'll have to find my... Um, mm, I haven't got it on me. I'll get it for next video. These, um, in the supermarkets, they do like little notes. Oh, do you know what? Have I got one there? No. It's got like little lines in a book, like a notepad. And then it's got a big ring through it, like a, you would put in a key ring. I, these fit in there perfect. And it gives me enough room to write adjacent to it about all the details and everything. So I keep them for that. So let's have a look. So I hope you're all doing well today. It's a lovely autumn day today. All the trees changing. All the leaves falling. Lots and lots to do. Oh wow, let's have a look. I can even hold this up. Wow, look at that. Yay, can everybody see that? Oh, isn't that just a fantastic one? We've got Wonder Woman. Batman and Superwoman. Supergirl, I'd say. Batboy and Wonder Girl. There we go. I think that's great. I bet the colours are fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to do this one. Sometimes it's nice to do it. Oh, it's really sticky. There are... Are there any ABs? There are two ABs in this. There's a yellow one, 130, and a white one, 141. So let's have a quick look at these. So these are the stickers for you already. Oh, look at all the spare ones. When you've only got so many on it, you keep the rest and keep it to one side. So when you're kitting up your boxes, or say like with Diamond Art Club, say they've got a chunky bag and it only fits in one of your containers, but it's using these stickers. They're all the same size. You can use these stickers with a biro and still, you know, put the same number on the DMC and the symbol. That's how I go by. I do put the DMC on my kit ups because I do save my drills afterwards. So, yeah, there's the picture. And we've got 14 different coloured diamonds in this one. This is great because it's a nice one. As you can see, there's loads of blues in that one. I won't check that out because of the time. And with Diamond Diet Club, they always put a little label on here. So if you want to store 
your diamond paintings um, away from your drills then you just have to put them you've got them to match up and it matches up together so what I'm going to do is if I get my kits out and then I'm not going to do it straight away with the way that it comes I do this because it's on hard glue I just give it a stretch the other way as well so that it goes back in the box like so goes back in the box like that and then we've got our instruction sheet here we've got some codes that you can scan there's one for, there's, what it, this is for is for the app for dam and art club they have an app now and it's 20 percent off your first purchase through the app so if you want to look at those codes and anybody that's just starting new it's a big thank you note and it's just a little booklet of information really and if you're brand new to dam and dat i would really read this and look at what it helps you to do it helps you to see what's in the kit it helps you out on how to do it it's so much easier now there's so much information for you all so i will keep that out and put it in my little and then let's have a look at the toolkit for this one feet not showing you the toolkit so I'll put that back in there gently, put that down and it's gone back in there, great. So let's have a look at the toolkit. They used to come in um, like an opaque bag, but it's a bit more see-through than this. I think this is be better for the environment. I think they're trying to always do better with their plastics and things. And Diamond Art Club are like one of the leading ones trying to, so let's see what we get in this. shy we've got the baggies here um these baggies are fantastic because i tell you a little tip i'm trying my best to lose my weight while i've got all this medication going on and lots of things because i can't digest food properly no more so what i do is if i want a little treat like say some chocolate I will put one square in each of these for seven nights, put them in the fridge. And then when I like to enjoy a little bit of a treat, I just have one square. And you know something, instead of having a bar, it doesn't make no difference. That makes you feel sick. But if I just have that one little thing and that's enough for me and it's doing fantastic. So they're good for that. And also because of the cross stitch, I also keep my bobbins in these to keep them nice and... Um, compacted in there also another tip for any floss tubers out there when i learned it i think i learned it off two ladies uh, that are called the notorious needle hi girls and they give you fab tips and if you you know the little hair bands they're like see-through that you can use for your your little ones um now i mean children when i say little ones um when you're winding on your bobbins like this if you put a little elastic band them hair ones over there it keeps it on the bobbin so it doesn't all fall off when it's in the drawing it all gets tangled up because that ain't really that clever we've got some beautiful washi tape here yeah it's almost like grecian it's nice it's like gold flecks in it and a pattern let's show you there that's better you see the like gold flecks in it so that's the baggies so we have lots of things for them i've got a pen like this and we get these and sometimes these are really difficult to get on or they're quite stubborn you can sometimes just push them on like that but i'll tell you what i used to what i used to do tell you what i do you know they're like ribbed down here if you get hold of one of the ribs there you go look you just pull it on like that we've got a little cover minder here gorgeous one like a little circular sparkly there we are and what you do with that like your plastic on your your plastic 
on the actual canvas at the back you see you'll see there's a magnet don't pick it off slide it be easier and then you put that on top of pull your canvas back just a little bit where you want to dam and pin put this on top of your canvas and this lift your canvas up at the back catches like that you see at the front and the back and that way it'll hold your little piece of paper instead of you having to flap it up and down to hold it there we've got some hearts of glue in a little caddy these are great you know if you put some magnets on the back and some little gems on the front i'm sure we've collected a few gems some of us and you could keep it as your wax caddy or you could keep it as a little trash tray like that put some uh, magnet on the back there glue it with a hot gun and some little gems and there you are little caddy I love the diamond painting um, wax from Diamond Art Club because it's a nice pink colour. They say the darker it is, the better it is. But do remember to take the plastic part off. Can you see that? I've just peeled it up there. And then you put your pen into the smudgy bit. So that's that. Try and put it back on. There we go. We'll put that back in the bag because I'll keep this for future reference as well. Right, we've got two multi-places here. We have got a four and a seven. They're perfect. They're what I mainly use apart from sometimes I use a ten one if it's a bit a lot of colour blocking colour blocking means a lot of colour in one place now if there's a lot of different colours where it's detail that's called confetti and this has got a stopper in the lid and that's a damn that tree they're lovely and the sides are getting higher as well it's always great when they have high sides and also last but not least a Diamond Art Club branded pair of tweezers. And these are fantastic. You'll find these for many job around the house, really. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Let's put all that back in the bag for you. So we've undone that one today. It might take me a couple of videos, actually, now looking at the boxes. Right can't resist when they have them i haven't got them all yet i'd love them all and i don't know how to tell the numbers on them i think diamonds and mossy mentioned it once hi katie um she probably doesn't even know what i am but i've been watching her for over a year it sounds like a stalker doesn't it but i didn't have it through the phone then i got my fancy phone now so i can do that you see um what was i on about I've to it's totally gone out of my head. No, oh, I've forgotten. Oh, I got this one recently. This one is called the Judgment Card. Ennis Guerrero. She is fantastic. And I just like this one. A lot of people are put off because of the colour. Don't be, because you can add ABs. And they really do stand out. So let's undo this one together. So I've not taken the toolkit, I'm learning. I've not taken the toolkit out of it. Because all my lovely people want to see it. And if you've just joined me, thank you for joining and subscribing. I have got lots of videos planned and things to come up. Right, this is quite a big one, let's have a look. It's 23.6 inch, 39.4 inch, so that makes it 60 centimetres by 100 centimetres. At least it's rounded it off, which makes it easier to frame. But I'm quite liking the idea. This Ennis Guerrero that I've done here, she has actually been sealed and is as sparkly as ever. Um, sealed I've used ribbon I've actually used beading for the outside and I'm going to do one with wood beading so it makes it more of a frame so we don't have to pay out that much money but it will it will seal it so it will keep it and it's going to be lighter to hang as well right let's get this one out oh 
making a funny noise. Is there something else in there? Oh, there is a lot. Toolbox. Yay. So here's the little sticker, the judgment card. There we are. And I just spotted her on there. And I thought, right, I'm going to have to stop spending because, you know, the other night of pennies. I should have said pounds. It's like my daughter will say to me, you need clothes, mother. You need clothes. No, I'm being kind of things. This one feels lovely. Right. Let's have a look. That'll be information out for you. I might have to move you down a little bit to show you this one. Right. Oh, look at that. Wonderfully bright colours. Hey. There we go. As dark as you can get. We've got another thank you. And here's the picture. We have 29 colours in it. So I'm guessing there's going to be Quite a few bags of one colour. Let me guess. Like three, ten, I think. Let's have a look. We've got two ABs in this, I can see. We've got one, the number one, which is DMC colour 118. Looks like a dark, dark blue. And then we have number two, which is 141 DMC. And the symbol is a white square with a black dot. So that's, can you see them too there? If it's under 150, and down, when you get Diamond Art Club kit, if it's under 150 in the drill numbers, it means it's an AB. But sometimes now, ah, look at the end as well. There's a Z842, I'll have to find that. And that's the, that's the letter T. And it looks almost lilac. So let me just put the drills on the trusty trolley and let's have a look at this. I will, oh, she's beautiful. You see, there are these artists with the faces and the hand features. They're just wonderful. I think a lot of people will like this one. Let's try and turn this around so I can show you. Let me hold it up. you see that? Isn't she beautiful? She is just beautiful. I can't hold her in the position when it's not too shiny shiny. Uh, let's see the light. There. There. She's gorgeous, isn't she? She's really beautiful. I don't know if anybody else has got this one. Let me know if you have. And now you're getting on with it. And are you planning to change anything? Oh. oh, she's just beautiful. I can see she's got little bits of like um, symbolism on her hand and her eyes. Amy Scarrera always does her eyes with like the girls have got a lot of something going on inside like they're upset from something and she's really good at showing emotion in her art and it's just wonderful there's the moon there she's got wings oh it's just beautiful like i said the stick is really sticky really sticky and this one is a 60 by 100 so it's a nice size because normally when we do these is it 60, 70 by 100? It's always landscape. But this is going down the longest length and just the width of 60, which is nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. So let's have a look at these colours real quick and show you the toolkit for this one. So 
I showed you the other toolkit before. I think what I might do is I just might show you the washi because you really, you'll be well adjusted now to. Let's have a peek. You know what? I'm not going to be a good amount. What's the washi tape for this? Oh, wow. Oh, that's going to be a nice washi tape because it's like a dark fantasy. And this is like black speckled and floral on it as well. Can you see that? There. Oh, look at that. It's like a little seashell. Little cover minder. These are great as needle minders and all. I love just displaying them on me. Um, nice little magnets and all. Look. So that's great. And again, the branded tweezers. Because I'm not sure if I said this is a square, sorry. Square drill. And we usually say square drills for details and round drill for shine. But you can make anything shine and these are just just one that seems to be like different animals. Squares. Um I love her hands and her face. And even though it's dark, you can see there's something here. She's like holding a bell with markings on it, symbolism. There's actually bells there. Let's have a look at these colours. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I won't get them all out, but we'll have a look at what colours they are. Now, the main one's here, right up to here. Oh, I don't know how many bags there is. Mm -hmm. um, three tens. I'd say there were three, six, nine, twelve, possibly fourteen. Yeah. Oh, but look at that AB. And that is eight, eleven. That AB there. Can you see that one? There, that A B. Eight and that, that's a gorgeous one. Beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. So that is gonna be super to do. And of course I will give it a review. Sorry about the crinkling, I'm yapping and not concentrating. I will wrap that back the other way. So what I would do is do that when I'm ready to do it. Do this. Don't worry about the things calling, I'll sort them after. How do you learn? Unless you make mistakes. That's what I say. If you make mistakes, you won't do that again. There we are. And that's that one. Will that go back in that box? Well, we'll soon find out. Now, I think with the mystery ones, I think I'll give them their own unboxing each because you don't want to spoil any fun for anybody. But what I'm dying to see, I need to put these away. Just a thing. Yeah. Put that there. Right. What I want to see, what's in this big box. So I will try my best. But I ain't got much space here. This was my daughter's bedroom, bless her. And she's now going up the left on. Oh my goodness. Do you know what? Oh, it's been... Somebody's had a good good knock in that. Let's have a look. Now, I d I've never had one of these. When they first came out last year, I didn't get one because well, I wasn't quick enough on the buttons. Lots of people got them. They got a mystery box one and a mystery box two. So I ain't got a clue what I'm going to get in this one. So let's have a look. And I think what I'll do is I'll show you what's in it today. And then I'll individually open the boxes. Right, let's have a look. I've got a blue one here. So I can see that is the Avengers. Oh, that's fantastic. My son, when he was younger, out of all of them, he loved Captain America. So that one is 26 now, but still 
they go nice because they're such beautiful pieces of work when they're done. We all know that do die on that. This is a round one, which is fantastic. And the picture is like that. Can you see that? I think that's great. And it's uh, 50.7 centimetres by 63.9 centimetres. So trying to find a frame that side is quite hard. And when you haven't uh, add specific frames and it costs us more money. So that's why I wanted to do it, demonstrate it on the Ennis Guerrero. If you're going to get a canvas, get it a little bit bigger. So this is 63.9, so 64. I would get a 65 canvas if you can. Don't think you'll be able to. Oh, and it's 50.7 centimetres. So it looks as though it's going to be a 50 something by 70. But you can add little effects on the side of the, like I added a, I added like um, an edge to it. And I also added ribbon because that's a bigger canvas than what the actual painting is. But if we've got ones like landscapes, if you've got a beach one, you could add some shells around the edge and it'd incorporate it like it's coming out of the And that um, crystal art work from Craft Buddy, the crystal art sealer I got. But um, I think um, Blink has just used one from Timo as well. And I'll see that next video to see how that dries and if that works well, I might get it there. But yeah, let's see what's in this one. So we'll just get them out like this and then I'll go through them, possibly maybe two at a time. There's a smaller one there. Let's have a look. Oh, oh wow. Look at this one. This one's called Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, wow. That's from like, yeah, bygone years. That classic orange blossom. 42.6 centimetres by 70.6 centimetres and it's around it's around they're gorgeous out of these boxes and everything is on the on the boxes that tells you what the contents are um how to do it how to diamond paint instructions yeah so we'll undo those two together can you see that one strawberry shortcake so this is hashtag box two. Right, I think there seems to be a couple of big things in here as well. Let's open this one before the really big one. This one is... Oh, wow. That's a lovely one also. It's a Mandy Manzano kit. So a lot of you will be happy with that one. All cats do go to heaven. 55.5 centimetres by 83.5 and that's a beautiful one I think there's a dog one as well but are you cat lovers out there I love cats as well but not as much as dogs so that one's that one and then we've got a really big one. Oh wow what's this one now this looks like Shadows of the Night. Wow. Look at that one. Now, that one is a big one. That's a square one. And it's 70 by 107. Oh, wow. I can see it there. Very cool. If you can see in this little picture here. Let me move that and show you. Trying to get that glare off. Where's the picture? Can you see the picture? Mm, there. There we are. Shadows of the night. It's got Batman. Yeah, it's got a moon in. Cool. Oh, that looks really good. They look exciting to do. So that's... Those four boxes there came in. Let me see what's in there. Hello. No. 
No more in that one. I'm getting a bit in a kerfuffle here. So, I just thought I'd say hello to you all. Hope you're all doing really well. It's been great having you here. My voice is starting to go now, so I need a drink. Uh, yeah, so in the hashtag two box, you get four. And then there was this one as well, I think. But it came in a different box. So I got Justice League, Strawberry Shortcake, Shadows of the Night, Batman. I got Amanda Manzano and Justice League, Avengers. Oh, what's his name now? Captain America, that's it. There we go. That's fantastic. So I'll get all this cleaned up and we'll go through these. I'll do a couple at a time that are small. And then I've still got my... Um, mystery kits to do with yourselves so look forward to that next video this one's a big one that i'll show you sometime as well that i'm doing it's a mermaid i think it's 150 or something long it's going to take me a while to do that one isn't it yeah um i don't remember if i showed you this this was a scarf that i knitted i'm not very good at knitting if I drop one, I have to take it all out because I don't know how to pick a stitch up. So I did do this and I didn't have enough wool because when I went back to the shop, they'd gone out of this wool. So I thought, how are you going to do it, Melanie? Because it is really warm. You know, it's like that. So I thought, I'll get a big button. And I only got one. I thought I had two for it. So what I will do is that and I'll do something with ribbon to make it, you know, be nice under my coats for the winter because we get cold winters here and mind you we don't get them cold in the south of england like we do in the north yeah right ladies and gentlemen all you lovely peoples out there i will speak to you again soon all right bye bye for now bye